nuclear weapon. Active chemical munitions bunkers, mobile production facilities. We know he's got chemical weapons. He's got them. He's got them. He's got there him. have been shipments going into Iran, for instance, uh, into Iraq. Uh, for instance, of aluminum tubes that really are only suited to uh, high quality aluminum tubes that are only really suited for uh, nuclear the war weapons. War on terror is, you can't distinguish between Al Qaeda and Saddam when you talk about the war on terror. We've learned that Iraq has trained Al Qaeda members in bomb making and poisons and deadly gases. He's a threat because he is dealing with Al Qaeda. The other crucial pre-war White House claim was that 9-11 hijacker Mohammed Atta met with a senior Iraqi intelligence official in the Czech Republic in April of 2001. You have said in the past that it was, quote, pretty well confirmed. No, I never said that. Okay. I, I never think said that, that is... No, it's absolutely not. Uh, it's been pretty well confirmed that he did go to Prague and he did meet with uh, a senior official of the Iraqi intelligence service. Do you agree, and does it matter whether or not you we find those We might ask weapons? the Prime Minister that I, we won't be proven wrong. This is a process that takes some time, and uh, it will ebb and flow. One thing we know is that he had a weapons program. I don't know anybody that I can think of who has contended that the Iraqis had nuclear weapons. And we believe he has, in fact, reconstituted nuclear weapons. Well, on the specific issue of weapons of mass destruction, it's going to take time and we're going to have to be Over patient. Over time, the truth will come out. Uh, now, it's going to take time to find anything because they've had... They, they've... People will find that uh, we presented a solid case, a case that uh, is there and was there and will remain there. So it's going to take a period of time to find the people. I don't think we'll discover anything myself. I, I, I believe that uh, uh, we, we will find the truth. And the truth is he, he, he was developing a, a program for weapons of mass destruction. I think what will happen is we'll discover people who will tell us where to go find it. You're not going to find it simply in a house-to-house -house search. You're going to find it when people start to talk to you. It, it, it is not like a treasure hunt where you just run around looking everywhere hoping you find something. I just don't think that's going to happen. The inspectors didn't find anything, and I, I doubt that we will. The, are people going to find out the truth? And the truth will say that this intelligence is good intelligence, no doubt in my mind. What we will do is find the people who will tell us. There are a lot of people who lie and get away with it. And, and uh, that's just a fact. The Iraq Al Qaeda relationship. Uh, when asked about the connection between Iraq and 9 11, the Commission has this to say. Uh, we have found no relationship, whatever, between Iraq and the attack on 9 11. Uh, what did Iraq have to do with what? The attack on the World Trade Center. Nothing, except for it's part of. And nobody's ever suggested in this administration that some terrorists, you can't distinguish between Al-Qaeda and Saddam when you talk about the war on terror. We've learned that Iraq has trained Al-Qaeda members in bomb making and poisons and deadly gases.